On day one, I spawned into an open field full of strange humanoid monsters. Where am I? Why are my hearts pounding? What are those things? There were giant humanoid monsters everywhere, so I had to lay low. Unfortunately for me, I accidentally ran into a sweetberry bush. Ow! Suddenly, lightning struck down directly onto me, transforming me into the attack titan. I didn't know what was going on, but all I knew was that I wanted to destroy all other titans. I charged into the horde of titans and began to attack them one by one. In this form, I was incredibly powerful and was able to destroy some of the monsters and a couple of punches. I was hungry for violence and punched the titans one after another. After a lot of fighting, I reverted back to my human form just as a giant hairy titan appeared before me. Ooh, little titan. Who are you? I am the Beast Titan, and in 100 days, I'm going to use my immense power to turn your people into Titans. You can't do that! They're innocent! I'd like to see you stop me. He began to walk away. I wanted to chase him, but I felt too weak after my transformation. I passed out. On day two, I woke up in a field with a strange girl in front of me. Max, wake up. Who are you? What? It's me, Mikasa. You don't have time for this. There are Titans everywhere. I looked around and she wasn't kidding. There were easily hundreds. What do we do? We fight. Mikasa ran out into the field and began to slaughter titans left and right. She was amazing and truly a natural warrior. In the distance, a titan was approaching me at a high speed. Ah! How do I get away from this thing? What should I do, Mikasa? Use your ODM gear. Huh? Oh, right. It was a little bit of a rocky start, but I got the hang of it in no time. Aim for the nape of their neck. Following Mikasa's instructions, I lashed onto the titan and swung with all of my strength. I did it. I had killed my first titan, and I was ready to finish off whatever titan came in my way. Yeah! Yeah! I began taking down titans one by one. Although they were huge, with my ODM gear, I was able to take them down with ease. After what felt like hours of titan hunting, we took down the last one. Boy, that was exhausting. On day three, I decided it was best to split away from Mikasa. If she knew I could turn into a titan, that would be the end of me. After walking for a bit, I came across a gate at the entrance of a massive wall. Wow, this place is huge. Welcome back to the Shigashida, cadet. I'm sorry about your mom. Oh, and uh, I guess your house, too. Oh, um, thank you. I walked past the gate to see a beautiful, sprawling city leading from one end of the wall all the way to the other. A lot of the houses were under construction, but I didn't think anything of it. I'd finally arrived at my house, and just like the guard said, it'd been reduced to rubble. Well, I guess it was time for an upgrade anyways. I started off by punching down some nearby trees. After getting all the resources I needed, I found a new location to build my house and began working on the foundation. Once that was finished, I built up the walls so I would have adequate protection for the night. I like it so far. On days four through seven, my house was off to a good start. I was then approached by a stern looking man. Who are you? I'm your commanding officer, Levi. Do you not remember me, newbie? Uh, no sir. Sorry sir, it won't happen again. Sir. Well, all right. I got my eye on you. Start patrolling the wall and report back to me if there's trouble. Do not engage with any abnormal titans. I got to work patrolling the walls, but nothing was really happening. In the distance, I saw a silhouette of a tall person running in my direction. It was a titan. Using my ODM gear, I quickly dashed out to it and finished him off. These titans are like zombies. I can't let the beast titan transform humanity into these. Just then, I spotted something in the distance. What is that? I spotted an unusual titan. Unlike the others, this one was walking on all fours. I knew I should have reported it to Levi, but with the way I was handling these titans, I could easily take out this one myself. I flew at the titan full speed ahead. Okay, you dumb titan, it's time to... Time to what? Time to meet my maker? What an unoriginal thing to say. All you island devils are the same. What the? You can talk? Yes, I am the cart titan. Out of the nine of us, only a few of us can retain dialect in our titan form. I'm one of the lucky ones, I guess. What do you want with me? I want the founding titan's power. Give it to me now. I don't know what you're talking about. Then why am I wasting my time talking to you when I can just eat you and go on my way? I won't let you do that. Without hesitation, I immediately transformed into my titan form and prepared myself for battle. On days 8 through 11, I engaged in battle with the cart titan. This titan was incredibly fast. I could hardly keep up with its speed. You may have been able to defeat the pure titans with ease, but not me. If I want to beat this titan, I'm going to need to try harder. Watch their movements carefully. 
get used to their pattern. The card titan was incredibly fast and was able to charge at me so quick it was hard to dodge. Each attack she landed dealt massive damage. Without my regeneration, I would have been toast. I continued to try and fight her head on with my fists, but I quickly came to the realization that a mindless rampage would not be enough to defeat her. I had to attack, but only at the right moment. I calmed myself, and when she charged in, I dodged swiftly to the side and landed a few blows. The two of us went back and forth for a while. It was anyone's game. I managed to get myself together. I waited for the right moment to attack and charged in. One punch after another, I didn't give them any time to counter. With one final punch, I finally defeated the cart titan. Its body evaporated and I began to feel all fuzzy. Well, what's happening to me? My name is Peak Finger. When I was very young, my father got sick. I hated seeing him suffering, so I decided I was going to do something about it. I enrolled in the military, and I was lucky enough to be chosen as one of the nine titans. Because of this, I was able to pay for the treatment he needed. Now, as the cart titan, I have immeasurable endurance. Unlike other titans, I can stay in my form for months at a time. If the mission demands it, I imagine I could stay in this form for years. Above all else, I am fast. Faster than any other titan. The nine titans are the only intelligent specimens. It seems if other people were to transform into titans, they would become mindless zombies. But there is one truth that holds strong. All of the intelligent titans are human. Whoa! So the nine titans are all humans and their leader is the beast. But why do they want to transform all humans into titans? Suddenly, I gained 10 additional hearts and felt even lighter on my feet. I guess with each intelligent titan I kill, I'll absorb their power and memories. I better keep fighting to learn more. On days 12 through 14, I reported back to Commander Levi to tell him about my sweet victory. I did it, Commander. I single-handedly defeated the cart titan all on my own. You did what? I know, right? I'm kinda awesome! That's being reckless. I told you to report back to me if there was any trouble. You could have been killed. <sighs> As punishment, you'll be repeating your training until you understand the meaning of working with a team. Aww, but I can easily take Titans out as a tight- What? Oh, uh, nothing. I'll, I'll report the training right away. Gosh, I almost messed up. Levi would kill me if he knew I was a Titan. After talking to Commander Levi, I walked over to the training area. There were tons of other scouts just like me, and the instructor was especially scary. Welcome to training, maggots. This isn't a daycare. You're gonna work until you drop. Otherwise, those titans will eat you for breakfast. Sir, yes, yes sir. sir! The instructor started us off with a race around the training area. I thought I'd become a lot faster, but everyone started passing me up. You did great, Max. Thanks, but how did you know my name? Did you hit your head? It's me, Armin. I'm your childhood friend. Oh, right. Sorry about that. It's okay. Let's stick together. Training is going to be tough. Next up, we had to train our balancing skills with the ODM gear. It was a pain in the butt, but we all managed to do it just fine. By the end of the balance training, I noticed that there was a girl eating a potato right next to me. Who are you? I'm Sasha. How? How? You want some? Uh, no thanks. Lastly was hand-to-hand -hand combat. I was partnered up with a blonde girl who always looked a little bit upset. To my surprise, she was an amazing fighter. I was secretly a titan, but still she could keep up with my attacks. It was incredible. Within seconds, I found myself on my knees. Ouch! Armin came over to console me about my loss against the blonde girl. It's okay. Annie is almost as tough as Mikasa. Maybe fighting titans is going to be harder than I expected. Once training was all finished up, the scary instructor gave one final announcement. Tomorrow is your fourth and final test. Field work. Mess around and you'll get swallowed up out there. Dismissed! On days 15 through 18, I went to dinner with Armin. Hey Armin, could we talk for a little bit? I'm struggling to remember some stuff. Sure. Well, where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Well, it all started the day the walls fell. That day, humanity was suddenly reminded of the terror of being at their mercy, of the humiliation of being trapped inside a cage. The Titans wanted nothing more than to consume our kind. You ran home the minute you saw the breach, but when you arrived, it was too late. Your mother was already being consumed by a Titan. You begged Lieutenant Hannes to save her, but he was frozen in place, terrified of the giant in front of him. <sighs> 
That's why you and Mikasa joined the military corps. To kill all titans and liberate humanity. Thank goodness we managed to patch the hole and restore Shiganshina. That's right. How could I forget? But what happens if there's an intelligent titan? Ah, don't say stuff like that! Intelligence is the one thing we have over those monsters. If they had the brain to back up their advances, we would be in serious trouble. I guess you're right. Sorry. On days 19 through 22, I found myself stuck in a dream. My father was standing beside me holding a syringe. Dad? What? What's going on here? Listen to me, son. Find the basement and you'll find out the truth. The basement? What are you talking about? Just trust me, my son. People will be after you. Powerful, powerful people. Control your new powers, find the basement, and take down the evil in this world. Wait, Dad, I'm confused. Tell me more. We don't have time for this. My basement and the other intelligent titans have the truth to all of this. I woke up in a cold sweat, wondering what the heck that dream was. What a nightmare. But why was my dad telling me to go to our basement? I was worried about what it could mean, but I needed rest. I decided to shrug it off for now and hit the hay. On days 23 through 25, it was time for the final test. I headed over to the training area and received a quick briefing from the instructor. I was assigned to a small group, consisting of Armin and Reiner. Nice to meet ya. I'm Max. Nice to meet you, Max. I'm Reiner. Let's do some good work out there. All right, team, here's the plan. I think we're all able to take care of the Titans on our own, so we're going to split up. Let's do this. It was my team's turn to go into the field and start our test. Following Armin's plan, we went ahead and split up. I swiftly killed two Titans in my vicinity. Unfortunately, it was too early to celebrate my success. I heard a scream off in the distance. It was Reiner. He was cornered by one of the Titans. Ah! I quickly latched onto the Titan and swung a grenade, saving Reiner from its clutches. Oh, oh, thanks, Max. I thought I was a goner. No problem. I'm just glad you're safe. I went on to kill a few more Titans, completing our task. We reported back to our instructor, and standing beside him was Commander Levi. You did fine work saving Reiner, newbie. Oh. Thank you, sir. Your team has shown that they can hold up their own weight, for the most part. I have a special task for you guys. I will be giving more details in the upcoming days. Stay alert. We'll do our best, sir. This mission sounds important. I wonder what Levi has in store for us. On days 26 through 29, I went home. With the training being completed, there wasn't much else to do other than work on my house and await Levi's orders for the next mission. I went back to the cave and gathered more stone. Sadly, I had chopped all the trees in the usual spot, so I had to go outside the walls to get more. After gathering the resources for the house, I came across a herd of sheep. I slayed them one after the other. Sweet! I got so much wool and mutton. I'm gonna eat well tonight. Suddenly, titans began emerging from the horizon. Oh no! I immediately sprung into action and used my ODM gear to finish off the first titan and then quickly charged at the others. With great speed, I managed to slice down titan after titan. However, even with my fast attacks, they still outnumbered me. They were able to hit me with their powerful attacks, but luckily my titan regeneration abilities kept my health high. I continued to propel myself forward, slicing down every titan that dared to challenge me. Is that the best you got? They may have been big, but they were no match for my two powerful blades. After an intense battle, I managed to take out the final one. That's the last of them. It was easy peasy, like slicing through butter. With my new materials in hand, I returned back to Shiganjina and began working on my house. First, I started with a roof. Since I still didn't have a ton of materials, I kept it simple. Still though, I liked the result. After it was in place, I began to work on a proper bedroom for myself. After placing the final pieces, I took a step back to see my beautiful work of art. This is starting to look a lot more homey. Max! I quickly ran outside to see who was calling out my name. It was Armin and Mikasa. They were here with some good news. Max, thank goodness you're here. Commander Levi is ready to start the mission. Count me in. On days 30 through 32, we met with Commander Levi. Standing before him, he gave us the briefing. Thank you for meeting me on such short notice, cadets. I wouldn't be asking you three this unless it was absolutely necessary, but I need you to exit Wall Maria. What? Are you insane? There have been reports of a powerful Titan. One that, if left unchecked, would be catastrophic to our city. It is our duty to stomp this threat out immediately. How exactly is this one more of a threat? It is said she has more intelligence than your average Titan, so stay alert. Yes, yes sir. sir! We all left the walls on horseback and were immediately greeted by pure Titans. 
One of the pure titans managed to separate me from the others, but I knew I'd be fine. In the distance, I spotted it, the female titan Commander Levi was talking about. The others could easily handle themselves, especially with Mikasa there. I took this opportunity to pursue her. It'll be easier to fight her in my titan form if I'm the only one there. This is my chance to find out more about the intelligent titans. I have to gain more memories and weaken the beast's evil forces. On days 33 through 35, I chased the female titan on horseback. She was fast, but not as fast as the cart titan. Once I closed the gap, I left off my horse and used my ODM gear to propel myself towards her. Take this! I used the sun to my advantage in order to blind her, but she was agile. She'd avoid my attacks like it was nothing. Even worse, the blunt force of her punches knocked out a good chunk of my health. I could tell this titan was well trained. If I was going to beat her, I'd have to be as persistent as possible. The fight continued. I slashed down into her, but it was almost as if nothing had happened. She was able to harden her skin, preventing damage from my blades. I can't cut through! It's like she has diamond armor! That's right. Your pathetic blades are worthless against me. Wait! You can talk? Just like the card titan. Why are you doing this? Us intelligent titans are tired of hiding in the shadows. We will bring humanity to light. You are special too, Max. Join us. I don't fight against humanity. I stand with them. Suit yourself. With that, she started attacking me once again. I knew at this rate I was good as finished. Thankfully, I had my secret weapon. Lightning struck down from the sky and I transformed into a titan. <laughs> On days 36 to 39, I was in the middle of combat with the female titan. Even in my titan form, she was tough. Punch after punch we fought, with both of us getting some powerful hits in. Her skin continued to harden regardless. She was agile, using an impressive roll ability to evade my attacks. Oftentimes, I would think I was closing the gap, but she would expertly move to avoid taking major damage. Thankfully, I had the power of the cart titan on my side. Using the speed I had gained from our previous battle, I was able to deal blows faster than she could harden her skin. After a long battle, I finally took her down and absorbed her power. My name is Annie Leonhardt. As a young girl, my father would put me through intense training to make me the most powerful warrior possible. Once I was old enough to join the military, and thanks to my fighting abilities, I was selected as one of the lucky few to become one of the Nine Titans. As the female Titan, I have immense amounts of endurance, and the ability to strengthen specific parts of my body with my heart and skin. Now that I am part of the Beast Titans army, we seek out more humans to grow our numbers. Once our work is done, all remaining humans will be transformed into mindless titans that the Beast Titan controls. I came out of the vision now in a completely different place. Where am I? More importantly, the intelligent titans can control normal titans? That means the beast titan is converting humanity to make his own personal army. I can't let that happen. I have to keep taking down the intelligent titans to reveal the beast's true form. Just then, I gained 10 hearts as well as the roll ability of the female titan. Sweet! Max! Uh -oh. Before I could get caught, I returned to my human form. Max, did you take down that titan all by yourself? Yes, sir! You're just a newbie, though. Are you sure you're not hiding something? Of course not! What? Well, expect another mission in the near future. Dismissed. On days 40 through 42, I returned to my home and decided it was finally time to do some building. I started off by making the house bigger and added a kitchen with everything I could need. Afterwards, I made a small storage room to hold all of my treasures and supplies. Not too shabby. Just then, I recalled my dream from a while ago. I wasn't sure why, but it felt like it was something important. I think it holds the secrets to the next titan's whereabouts. I went mining in search of any sort of secret basements underground. As I dug, I managed to find coal and iron. SCORE! I quickly smelted the iron, then made an iron pickaxe. Afterwards, I kept searching and even found diamond. I used my loot to craft a bit of armor for myself and continued going deeper. After a while, I finally discovered the basement from my dream. What secrets do you hold? I investigated for a while, without any luck, until finally discovering a strange syringe inside of a chest. What is this? Dad, please, don't go like this! Max, used its power for good. No! Wait, what was that? Is my dad dead? Ugh, I can't remember. On days 43 through 45, I returned home to find Levi and Reiner waiting outside for me. Today you will be assigned a new mission to eliminate a high-profile titan. You and Reiner will be eradicating it. 
Let's do our best. I'll be keeping an eye on the clock. If things get hairy, I'm sending reinforcements. Yes, yes sir. sir. The two of us left the safety of the walls and went on our quest. While exploring, we slayed a titan or two, but overall it was quiet. That's strange. Levi said the titan would be close. Oh, he's much closer than you think. Suddenly, Reiner transformed into the armored titan. What? There are more traitors than just Annie? The Nine are all undercover in the Shigan Shina and your military. We are all sleeping right under your noses. Does the same go for the Beast Titan? Like I tell you, prepare to die. On days 46 through 49, I was battling it out with the Armored Titan. I tried my best to use my ODM gear to land the attack, but my blades couldn't penetrate his skin. This isn't working! I have to transform! I transformed into my Titan form and resumed the battle. Now in my super form, I did my best to penetrate his thick skin. Still, even as a titan, it was difficult. On top of this, his movement was of similar skill to the female titan. He was quick and was able to dodge and weave at will. I pressed on, using anger as my primary weapon. I couldn't believe Reiner was a traitor. Enraged, I began to punch him as hard as I could over and over and over again. This wore him down. I could tell he was about to lose. It was close, but I managed to land the finishing blow, granting the Titan soul for myself. When I was younger, I used to have a best friend. We would do everything together. One day, a Titan killed my friend, and I vowed that I would do anything to become stronger. After a lot of training, I managed to join the military, where I was able to gain that power through the skills of the Armored Titan. As the Armored Titan, my skin is stronger than even diamonds. Thanks to the Beast Titan, we have already begun to infiltrate the Survey Corp. Soon enough, we'll take down the humans from the inside. His memory sequence ended, and I gained 10 hearts. Awesome. But there are undercover titans hiding inside the military. I have to find out who they are and fast. On days 50 through 53, Mikasa and Armin arrived at the scene. A titan? Where's Max? <laughs> I couldn't speak in my titan form, so I tried to run away instead. Unfortunately for me, Armin was able to block my path. Now, Mikasa! Mikasa ran in for the kill, but I knew I couldn't keep this up, otherwise someone would get hurt. I transformed back into a human. Wait, Max, is that you? Yeah, I'm a titan. I explained to my friends how I had the ability to turn into a titan and that the beast titan was threatening the safety of humanity. Let me get this straight. There are nine intelligent titans, but you're one of them. So would that mean there's eight? I'm not sure. The other titans are treating me differently. I think there's something deeper. I think it's all related to my dad somehow. Well, we'll help you get to the bottom of it. You mean, you don't want to kill me? Of course not. You're our best friend, and we know you will never hurt us, titan or not. I wouldn't say the same for Commander Levi, though. If he finds out, I'm dead meat. Our lips are sealed. This stays between us. Thank you both. After my conversation with my friends, I reported back to Levi to tell him about the Armored Titan. So we have traitors in our midst. We'll have to keep a keen eye on these Titan-human hybrids. I'll be sure we eliminate them all. Uh, right. He cannot find out about my secret. On days 54 through 56, Mikasa and Armin helped train my titan form in a nearby biome. If I wanted to defeat the remaining five titans, I needed to get stronger. Here goes nothing! Thanks to the power of the cart titan, I was able to move crazy fast. I'd say that went well. The next test will be your endurance. With the test of endurance, Mikasa used her expert skills to hack and slash at me. My durability had been raised immensely thanks to the new armor I gained. Even after hitting me over and over again, I was unfazed. You're as tough as the armored titan now. Amazing! For the last test, I wanted to see if I could talk. The cart titan mentioned that of the nine intelligent titans, some of them retained the ability to speak. I felt like I could do it if I put my mind to it. Say, Mikasa is cool. No, Mikasa is cool. How about you try something simple? Say, Max. Max! You did it! I gained three more hearts. I felt stronger already. I could comfortably control my Titan form better than before and even speak. Before I had time to celebrate, Levi appeared. What's an intelligent Titan doing so close to the walls? Come here, you beast. On days 57 through 59, I was being attacked by Levi. I tried my best to fend for myself, but I didn't want to hurt him. What are you doing standing around? Help me take down this Titan. My friends tried to plead with the commander, but he wouldn't listen. He continued his onslaught on me. I didn't want to fight, so I tried my best to simply evade his attacks. Unfortunately for me, each slash of his blade hit like a truck. After some back and forth, I eventually used my super speed to escape from his onslaught. 
Run while you can, monster. I'll take you down next time you come close to my scouts. I managed to get away from Levi, but I was alone outside the walls. I better keep in my titan form for safety. Just then, I spotted a strange titan walking around in the distance. Something about her set her apart from the other common titans around me. This doesn't look good. I better check it out. On days 60 through 63, I arrived at the place where I saw the unusual titan. It looked different from the others. I could tell this one was going to be a lot more difficult to handle. Well, if it isn't the traitor, you must think you're special now that you've gained more power than us. What is that supposed to mean? Don't play dumb with me. Join us in our quest to take over the world or die a traitor. The only one dying is you. Enraged by the Titan's words, I charged straight at her, swinging my fists. It felt like I was hardly doing any damage. Just like the armored Titan, she was extremely durable. She used a massive trident and was able to maneuver it around her like magic. She gained the advantage over me with the distance of a throwable weapon. Again and again, she would throw her ice-like trident, causing me massive pain. Luckily, I was able to use my speed to evade a lot of them, but I had to think of a way around this. We kept at it, charging at each other repeatedly. I could tell I wasn't doing much damage, while she continually chipped down my hearts more and more. It was so hard to dodge her abilities. Her skills with the ice spear were unprecedented, being able to swing it around her torso at the top of her head as if she was a master of combat. Something seems off. She's fighting so freely without protecting herself. I managed to get a successful strike, but she still was unfazed. Why didn't that work? On days 64 through 67, my battle with the Warhammer Titan raged on. My attacks on her nape aren't working. She must be hiding it elsewhere. I began to attack other parts of her body in an attempt to locate her weak point. If I didn't know where it was then, I just had to try them all. Of course, she barely gave me any room to strike. Twirling her spear, I was able to maneuver around with a small gap between me and the tip of her blade. Noticing that she wasn't able to reach me, she began throwing her spear to knock me back and lower my hearts. With the speed of the card titan, I charged in and let out a barrage of punches, giving her no time to react. I finally located where she was and focused my attacks on her ankle. Just like that, the Warhammer Titan was no more, and her memories were now a part of me. My name is Lara Tiber. I am the youngest daughter of the Tiber noble family. When I turned 13, I inherited the power of one of the nine titans. With this power, I was able to create a variety of weapons from the ground below, making me the most versatile of all the titans. I had always felt alone until I met him. He understood the burdens of carrying great power and showed me the way. I now know that my duty lies in helping the Beast Titan take back the world. Wait, that boy must have been the Beast Titan. But what was his name? I have to know his true form before something bad happens. Just then, I gained 10 hearts and the Warhammer Titan Spear. Sick! This is gonna be awesome for my next fight. On days 68 through 70, I returned home and decided to finally finish up my build. I started by displaying some of my Survey Corps gear in picture frames. It would serve as a symbol for all of my hard work. Next, I used carpet to brighten up the place, as well as crafted lanterns to place around. With that, my build was finally complete. This place is cozy. Not too bad. After all my hard work, I felt a bit hungry. I didn't want to eat my usual, so I figured I would see what the market had to offer. There were lots of options, but I ended up purchasing a fresh loaf of bread. Finally, it's time to eat. Uh, are you gonna finish that? I looked over to see a strange girl staring at me. Well, I haven't even started eating it. Aren't you that weird potato girl from training? I'm not weird. I just appreciate good food. Where did you find that potato anyways? On the floor. Gross. Look, if you give me that bread, I'll show you something cool. Aw, oh, man. I can't say no to cool things. I gave her the bread, and she gobbled it up in a second. <laughs> oh, that hit the spot. Now come with me. I followed her to find that she had led me to a massive garden full of potatoes. For sharing with me, I'll now share with you. Take all the potatoes you want. Wow, thanks. I gathered up plenty of potatoes and headed back home. When I arrived, I found Mikasa waiting for me. Max. I remembered something about your father that could help you. On days 71 through 73, Mikasa was telling me vital information about my father. I was thinking about what you told me, and I remembered there was a day you and dad went to the forest together. It was the last time either of us ever saw him. Huh, that does ring a bell. Maybe if I check it out in person, I'll learn something. With my new lead, I headed into the forest to see what sort of secrets it might hold. During my travels, I found an area with a small grouping of titans. It's almost as if they're protecting something. I better start here. I flew into the fray with my ODM gear and sliced 
place each of their napes one by one. At this point, I had become an expert with my mobility gear and blades. I was able to soar through the air effortlessly, swooping in to slice the nape of each of the titans. Still though, there were many of them, so at times they would get a hit or two on me. Still, I kept at it, flying, weaving, and slicing whenever the opportunity presented itself. With one final swing, I was able to take out the last titan, leaving nothing but a syringe alone on the ground. Another syringe? What does that mean? What did you want to show me, Dad? This syringe holds the power of both the Founding and Attack Titans. These two intelligent titans will empower you, so you can take out the greatest evil of all. Whoa, I feel weird. Dad! You'll pay for that! <laughs> Dad, please don't go like this. Max, the use of this power, forget. No! How could I forget? My dad gave me my power and died in the process. Thanks to him, I hold the power of two intelligent titans. That's right. Well, not even that will be enough to stop me. On days 74 through 77, I was standing face to face with the beast titan himself. Why do you hate humanity so much? What did they do to you? What haven't they done? They are the demons of this world. They corrupt their own kind and destroy everything they touch. They must be annihilated. And what about those who are innocent? Not all humans are evil monsters. Enough! You know you've been a real pain in the neck. You've taken out over half of my finest titans. You won't know real pain until I take you out. At least I'm free. You have to live in fear of what the town thinks of you. Once your secret gets out, you'll be dead meat. Now, if you let me transform everyone, then that little problem goes away. I'll never let you do that. I'm gonna protect the people inside the walls. I propelled myself towards the massive monster, but he was able to dodge my surprise attack. You'll regret that little stunt. Just then, the beast summoned a titan with a massive jaw and ran away. I knew what I had to do. I immediately lunged into battle. On days 78 through 81, I was in combat with the jaw titan. I knew this had to end quickly if I stood any chance catching up with the beast titan. At first, I tried just using my Odium gear to do some initial damage, but it became obvious very quickly that I was gonna have to call on the big guy. I transformed into my titan form and continued the fight. Move! I knocked back the jaw titan with my strength, but he was persistent and did the same back. His attack dealt massive damage, so much so I would fly into the air. This wasn't an ordinary titan, he was definitely one of the nine intelligent ones. I'll have to deal with the beast another day, you're mine! I charged in at the jaw titan with all of my might, but he managed to dodge, leaving me defenseless. The jaw titan took the chance to whittle down my hearts with a barrage of attacks. I knew if he kept this up, I would be finished. I managed to attack him back, matching the damage he had dealt to me. We were even, but this battle wasn't close to over. We continued to land hit after hit on each other, but as we continued, I noticed I was getting the one up. Once the jaw titan was low enough on health, he began to run away. I can't let him escape. I need to find out more about the beast titan. On days 82 through 85, I chased after the jaw titan to finish what we had started. Thanks to my increased speed, I managed to cut him off and resume the battle. The jaw titan immediately lunged my neck, but one final strike was enough to take him down. Upon his defeat, I absorbed his soul as well as the memory he was holding. My name is Porco Galliard. From a young age, I completed to obtain the power of the jaw titan. My efforts eventually paid off. I can dodge with incredible ease as well as crush anything with my jaws. Mr. Jaeger, how can I help you? It has been completed. The serum for the beast titan is complete. Are you sure you want to give that to him? He's your own- Don't let it bother you, my friend. This is just another step towards our goals. How does he know my dad? And just who is the beast titan? I need to find out more. Suddenly, I gain two hearts and the ability to jump super high. Thank you for your power, Jot Titan. I'll use it for good. I was about to leave when suddenly I heard the sound of Odium gear in the distance fast approaching me. Mikasa? To my surprise, Levi flew in. I found you, monster. Prepare to die. On days 86 through 89, I was being ambushed by Commander Levi. I did my best to duck and weave away from his powerful attacks. I didn't want to hurt him, but I couldn't let him know my secret. During the Ray, I realized he was moving strangely. He must be low on gas. Maybe he'll retreat. Just then, two smaller titans arrived and attacked. Normally, they would have been a piece of cake, but without gas, Levi was dead meat. I immediately ran into action and began to fight off the runs. Being the powerful attack titan, I took them both out with ease. Once the dust finally settled, Levi stared at me in confusion. 
Did a titan just save me? What? Who are you? Without another word, I transform back into my human self. I could tell that Levi was no longer a threat. Max? I guess that explains how you took out all those titans as a newbie. I'm sorry. It's a long story, but I have no bad intentions. I'm using my powers for good. <sighs> Even so, this still compromises the safety of our people. I'm afraid we need to run this by the judge. On days 90 through 92, I was sitting in trial before a judge who would dictate whether I was to live or die. This boy is a danger to our society. He is the culmination of the very creatures we are trying to eradicate. Please have him removed to the safety of our families. What does the defense have to say? Your Honor, Max has demonstrated great control of his Titan form and has saved both my life and the lives of other Survey Corps members. For these reasons, I believe he should be spared. I see. If you, Commander Levi, have this to say, then it must be true. But I cannot also ignore the major threat that poses having a Titan in our walls. Well, what if we are able to use his Titan form to our advantage? What do you mean? What if we use Max as our weapon to fight back? Why, that's the most wild idea I've heard all day. But how could I refuse? Very well. If Max can eliminate the Colossal Titan, then he's free to stay in our city. Looks like I know who my next target is. On days 93 through 95, I left the courthouse ready to begin my next mission. However, something felt off. I looked up into the sun to find the Colossal Titan looming over the wall. I guess Colossal isn't just a name. He's massive! I rushed out to the gates, ready to confront the final titan that stood between me and the beast. This is my city! Back down now! You! You're the one who's been killing all my allies! Only myself and the beast titan remain! Why? Why do you betray your own kind? Because you guys want to hurt the lives of innocent people! This world is no longer built for them, nor is it suited for someone like you! Your journey ends here! The Colossal Titan sent in tons of Titans to do his bidding, then backed up to watch the fight. You coward! Fight me yourself! With no other options, I rushed in to fight. Charging forward, I zipped back and forth between the Titans. Every time they got too close, I shot up into the air and spun back at them with my sharp blades. They stumbled around, trying to catch me. But I was too fast, and managed to roll and jump out of harm's way. Each one I slashed went down easily. They kept on coming, but I kept on slaying. I fought off Titans left and right, but no matter what, it seemed like there was no end in sight. Come on! You guys surely get tired eventually! On days 96 through 98, I transformed into the Attack Titan to continue my battle with the Colossal Titan's goons. Although they had me in numbers, I had them in pure skill. I ran up to the Horde of Titans, punching as furiously as I could. At this point, I had mastered my Titan form. My punches were consistent and deadly. I took down Titan after Titan, barely flinching when they did damage to me. I was unstoppable! I finally managed to take the last of the pure Titans out then running up to the Colossal and killing him in one punch. Sweet! Another memory! My name is Bertolt Hoover. Ever since I was young, I was always a skillful gunman. So, when I was placed into the military, I was quickly selected to house one of the Nine Titans. As the Colossal Titan, I have heaps of strength, stronger than anything else on this planet. And with its strength, I'm unstoppable. I remember the day I met Zeke like it was yesterday. He and I met when we were still young adults. He was eager for me to meet his father. Apparently, he was a man who knew more about Titans than anyone else, and even possessed the power of multiple intelligent Titans. He always thought that one day he would possess all of these amazing powers, but that was passed to his younger brother instead. He was only left with a single intelligent Titan's power. Wait, the Beast Titan and I have the same father? Then that means we're brothers? On day 99, I reported back to Levi and informed him that the mission was a success. The judge will be pleased with this. You're free to stay in these walls for as long as you like. Thank you, sir. But I also found something else out. I explained to him all of the memories I had obtained from each of the Titans and my newfound discovery that the Beast Titan was in fact my older brother. I see. So your battle isn't over yet. You don't have much time before the Beast Titan completes his evil plans. Exactly. I need your help. Come with me. I think there's something I need to show you. I followed Levi to another area where I found all of my classmates waiting for me. What is all of this? We've been working hard to help find a way to give you an edge on the Beast Titan. It required the help of everyone, but we were able to make you this. Armin then handed me brass knuckles. Huh? Why? 
Our theory is that they'll grow with you when you become the Attack Titan. If so, you should be able to inflict fast, powerful damage against the beast. Wow, this is incredible. Thank you so much. Everyone gave me their final wishes of luck, but all of it was interrupted by the sound of a huge crash. On day 100, I ran outside to find the wall had been breached by the Beast Titan. Yes, finally it's time for me to transform all of you pathetic worms into my army. Back down now, Zeke. Looks like you know the truth, brother. Yes, our father gave you the power of two titans and left me with only one. That's no reason to hurt people! I'm not hurting people. I'm simply giving them the same strength we have. There's a difference between the nine titans and the normal ones, and you know that. They don't want to be mind-controlled by you. What a shame. They soon won't have a choice. I was sick of this, so I transformed into the attack titan and began charging at the beast. Zeke had me beaten size by a large amount, but because of his mass, his punches were much slower than mine. Especially with my new brass knuckles, I was able to pummel faster than ever before. Punch after punch, I weakened the beast more and more. Once I thought I had him, the beast titan started to throw giant boulders at me, disorienting me and chipping away pieces of my health. I knew I couldn't have him throwing massive rocks inside city limits, so I had to move the fight elsewhere. Hey Zeke, you want my powers? Come and get them! I ran outside the walls to protect the civilians of Shiganshina. Luckily, the Beast Titan followed and our fight continued. Outside the city, I was more determined than ever to take down the Beast Titan. I threw punches one after the other. The Beast Titan seemed angry, throwing rock after rock at me. That wasn't gonna stop me though. I ran at him with the fury of every intelligent Titan. I could tell he was weak, and one final blow was all I needed to defeat him. I ran in and punched him as hard as I could, killing him. I did it! I saved everyone! 